introduction. Thank you all for joining today. In these crazy times we're having right now, I think we're all, you know, taking this time to reflect and sharpen our skills and, you know, make sure that we all come out of this extremely strong, intelligent, you know, use this time to really just kind of take a moment and enjoy, you know, life and our families and and, uh, you know, I think one of the most important things is being able to and kind of proven to ourselves that we can that we can adapt and we can overcome hurdles and objections and, you know, whatever gets thrown our way, we're able to not only survive, but we're able to thrive. So, again, thank you for allowing me to present here today. Um, as Madeline mentioned, my name is Mo Abbott. I am the senior regional manager for Sonin. Uh, my territory includes uh, Western U.S. and Western Canada. And we've got an amazing, great kennel support team. I'll talk to you here in about uh, 20 or so minutes. And, uh, you know, really built to partner around the Solagent contractor base and the Solagent direct partnership, as well as, you know, Sonin's field support and, you know, what, what we like to do in the market to, to help, you know, your customers, yourselves, you know, our partners all across. So. Again, thanks for having me. My contact information is right there on the bottom right. Uh, this, this presentation is being recorded and will be available afterwards as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on in. Today we're going to discuss Estonian's intelligent energy storage system. Um, we have a few different product lines. Some of you may be familiar with, some not, um, but we will be talking about the, you know, the differences in our products. We'll be talking about some of Estonian's unique value propositions, uh, you know, what makes Sonin so special um, and just kind of, you know, recap with, with uh, you know, how, how do our success, most successful partners nationwide position our product? How are they selling it? How are they overcoming any objections? And how are they comparing it to other uh, storage solutions in the market? So we will, we will be doing quite a short bit of overview uh, on energy storage as a whole. You know, I'm not sure exactly the participant um, knowledge level, but, you know, experience with Sonin in the energy storage market. Some of you may be brand new to adding energy storage to your portfolio. Some of you might be almost decade-long experts. Um, so pardon the, the uh, you know, like um, preschool or elementary version and then the kind of the high-level advanced, <laughs> advanced placement um, chemistry version. So we'll try to get a good mix of everything right in between all that. So first and foremost, I'd like to start out with the Sun and Story. For those of you that do not know, we were initially founded in 2008 in Germany. Uh, we were the first fully integrated intelligent residential energy store solution on the market. Um, as of today, uh, we are over 50,000 systems worldwide. That is the most globally installed energy storage solutions uh, energy storage solution you know, it's all across every partner every other every other um, you know shared entity or com competition or you know part partner anything you want to kind of mention there the most important thing I'm proud of in this slide is really that third to bottom bullet point 100% devotion into the residential energy storage market um, and if we take a step back there really quickly and not even not even looking at energy storage, you know, just, just any, you know, large corporation, whether it's banking or, or you know, cards or, or you know, insert anything here. Um, there's not really a lot of folks out there that just, just put 100% of their focus into one, one specialization. You know, when it comes to Sonin, again, we're 100% devoted to the energy storage residential market. And no vehicles, no televisions, no inverters, no generators. You know, it's not like a product mix that we have. This is the only thing that we focus on. Every employee that you talk to, Sonin Global Worldwide, this is our sole focus. Um, that, that's a lot to say because, you know, we're, again, we're singularly focused into this market. Can't say enough about that. Um, we were expanding or uh, expanded into uh, U.S. into 2016, obviously started in Germany, German engineered. The, couple of pictures you see there, CEO Christoph Osterman, um, town in Bavaria, they're, you know, 100% solar now, solar and storage. Um, and again, if some of you may know and may not know, we were acquired by Shell. 
uh, February 2019, so just a little over a year ago. There's, you know, not like a majority shareholder or, you know, primary investor or anything like that. It was a full acquisition. And throughout this presentation, I think we got about an hour total. I'll try to keep it to about 30 to 40 minutes and then open it up at the end for some Q&A. Um, but I do have a few videos that I'll incorporate in here as well. So the first thing that I'll show here is our, um, you know, Shell New Energy video. Just for those of you that either have not seen it or did not know about the Shell and Stone in relationship, um, this is a cool video that really just, um, you know, shows the Shell New Energy vision. Uh, so give me just a quick second here. I'll pull this up. We'll run through it. It's about a three minute long video. Then we'll transition into the next slides. As demand for energy increases, the need to find more and better ways to power our world has never been greater. The transition to a lower carbon future brings opportunity. Through our new energies business, Shell is investing up to $2 billion a year in cleaner energy solutions. To reduce CO2 and keep us on the move, we're opening hydrogen stations across Europe, California, and in Vancouver. For electric vehicles, we've introduced fast charging at fuel stations to recharge in less than 30 minutes. Shell's new motion provides the largest network of charging points in homes and businesses across Western Europe. Shell Ventures is helping startups that offer cleaner energy solutions grow, like Aurora, an autonomous driving company transforming the way people and goods move. We're investing in biofuels too, researching fuel made from biomass waste. And through our joint venture, Ryzen, we're producing a biofuel that can reduce emissions by up to 70%. To meet the growing demand for renewable energy, we're investing in wind projects in the US, the Netherlands, and exploring opportunities worldwide. Our projects in the North Sea will have capacity to provide enough energy for almost a million homes. We've invested in one of the largest independent solar energy producers in the US and expanded into Asia. In the US and UK, we've acquired energy suppliers, which allows us to deliver directly to our customers. To offer residential customers more choice in cleaner energy solutions, we've acquired Sonnen, which allows solar energy to be stored in your home and shared with other users. We're also finding commercial ways to provide reliable electricity to homes and businesses across Africa and Asia. Our new energies business is driving transition to a lower carbon future. Powering progress together by providing more and cleaner energy solutions. Let's make the future. All right, so hopefully that was a good, you know, kind of holistic overview of Shell's uh, new energy division and what, you know, what the roadmap looks like here um, next 30, 40, 50 years. You know, during the Pri uh, Paris Climate Accords, Shell actually was one of the only companies that had really laid out their entire, entire 50-year roadmap on, you know, how they're going to bring the global climate down uh, to degrees Celsius. So again, quick little recap of Sonin's history, um, you know, really get it, got into, founded in 08, got into first units sold in 2010, simply by door knocking in this uh, town in Bavaria. 2014, we started the Sonin community in the Sonin globe. We're going to have a good, probably two slide view into what that looks like as far as our virtual power plant business. 2017, expanded into and opened up our headquarters right outside of Atlanta, Georgia. That's our applications engineering team to the right. And fast forward a few years later, um, you know, we've got multiple Sonin communities. For those of you that were physically at SPI last year, hopefully you had an opportunity to, to attend our Soleil Loft unveiling gala. Uh, that's our first, um, you know, first of its kind all electric apartment community in the United States. 630 total, I believe, units, each of them having a Sonin Eco Links 20 inside of them. And we're going to get into the grid asset 
part of our um, infrastructure here in the next few slides as well. So just a very quick overview of our vision is a clean and affordable energy, um, you know, for everyone involved. And, you know, this, this kind of shared concept that you see here um, is, is really the foundation and where, where Sonnen was, was and how Sonnen was built. Um, really like the why behind our purpose and um, you know if, if you are familiar with Germany and their their solar market and how much of a <laughs> how much solar and wind was was deployed in there you know storage was just such a necessity um, and when it comes to necessity sometimes you know so a long time ago one of my mentors the necessity is the mother of all inventions and when you have so much solar and there's really not too much more to do with it and your net metering and folks are at home or not home and they're at work and school and during the peak of the summertime, which we're gonna talk about the duck curve and kind of how California's, you know, ISO and um, you know, this this excess of energy that, that that's being presented by everybody doing such an amazing job over the last decade or so, you know, installing all this solar. Um, so it just kind of presents a new challenge. Like where's that solar going? You know what's really happening with all this excess solar once the sun starts to set once folks start to get home and you know ovens start turning on and acs and televisions and microwaves and and the sun setting so it's kind of like this little you know x that you see that which uh you know, we'll talk about here in a second so i mentioned it earlier we've got over fifty thousand units installed worldwide that link right there on the bottom if you click on it's a real live link you can zoom in to all the units globally um, obviously it doesn't show exact home addresses or owner information, but it does give you those little blue dots and you're able to zoom in a good amount. Um, so I touched on this a second ago, and this is the challenge that we're facing. This is a, you know, Cal ISO, if you, if you guys are familiar with the duck curve, you know, I won't spend too much time on it. It's a pretty familiar term these days, but just a very, very, very quick overview. You know, uh, that top line you see there towards the middle, that's when, you know, solar wasn't as dominant. And it was a little newer back then, about eight years ago. Obviously, you know, 09 is, is actually when I started, um, you know, my first first role into the solar industry was in 2009. And, um, you know, since then, as you see, the belly of the duck has just been getting, you know, bigger, 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 deeper and deeper. And really what that's illustrating is if you see the times down there about 9 a.m. through about 12, getting into the early afternoon time period, that's when solar is you know, pretty much producing at its peak. And that's when folks are not home. They're either at school, they're at work, they're running errands. Um, so you've got all this solar that, that, that's being generated. It's all getting net metered back into the electric grid. Now, fast forward, you're at about 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6. Now, getting into that, you know, later, mid to later evening time, all the way through 5, 6, 7, 8 p.m., sun setting. And as I mentioned earlier, folks are starting to get home from school. Folks are getting home from work. And, you know, everything is getting turned on. You know, families are getting home and dinner is getting started. And, you know, your pool pump may start and your, your spa may start, all this fun stuff. So you've got such this such this deep ramp up that's needed. And our infrastructure was not designed, you know, this, this, this archaic, um, you know, power plants and, and, you know, power lines and the transmission that happens between every little pit stop until it actually gets to the home. It wasn't designed, you know, hundreds of years ago with the, with the concept of solar and all this net energy and, you know, excess generation and, you know, this, this ramp up that, that's needed in this, you know, essentially three hour, three hour period. So as generation goes down and as consumption goes up and as the base, you know, power plants have just been kind of hovering during this, during this deep belly time, now it's just this, this little period where every, all the alarms are going off at power plants and, you know, you, you may have heard the term peak, peaker plants and, you know, just the dirtiest energy, the most, you know, just enormous coal burning and uh, just nasty, nasty stuff happens because it needs to happen. Because again, the solar goes away. It's not like we're in Germany or anything like that right now where we've got an abundance of wind and other you know, hydroelectricity and all that stuff. So as that goes down, these, these electric utilities are forced to ramp up production to meet the demand of obviously the U.S. homeowner. 
that's really where that 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 really dirty dirty power comes from so energy storage what what you know happens there is as you all i'm sure know <laughs> will capture the excess abundance of solar energy being produced during the daytime so instead of it going back into the grid now you're storing it so then now as sun sets and your solar is producing less now your battery can simply discharge to cover that additional load versus you know having these these peak power plants just operating very very inefficiently um, in our minds so that was a challenge now let's talk about the solution the ultimate solution which germany's done such a great job of operating in over the last decade or so is a sonin community and that virtual power plant you know i just mentioned the solar loss community first of its kind electric community in the US, first ever, all electric community in, in, in the United States of America. Um, and those communities now can, can kind of aggregate all the batteries together and discharge simultaneously, like a solar loft example, Rocky Mountain Power has full control of the entire fleet of batteries. And they can communitize these batteries and then discharge them. And now it's being used as a grid asset now it's being used to levelize frequencies, you know, and, and ultimately there, you know, the need for that peak power plan for that three, four hour time period just really goes away. You know, so now, now you're balancing the grid, you're decongesting it, you're decarbonizing the grid. Um, and this is just an entire next next level solution that Sonin is Sonin is actively operating within it's another one of the more unique value propositions. Um, so I mentioned Solar Loft quite a bit now. For those of you that were not at the Solar Loft SCI event last year, this is a quick another second video that I'm going to play here for y'all, just to get a quick overview of how this community works. Imagine a world where all electric and energy efficient building design improves the local air quality by reducing emissions where it's possible to bottle the sun and use it to safely power individual homes, where sustainability is not a goal, but is a way of life. That sustainable energy future is here. Welcome to Soleil Lofts. So Lay Lofts is a first of its kind. We started the design and we thought about every intricate detail. We said to ourselves, there's nothing we can think about too aggressively. An all electric apartment community that uses sophisticated batteries to power individual residents, forming a decentralized power plant that is managed by the local utility, Rocky Mountain Power. We quickly realized this is the way of the future to come full circle and not just be a solar company. We knew we needed the grid. This basically opens the doors for EV charging along with the solar. So Laylofts is made possible by a unique partnership between a visionary developer. I see the pollution that's here and it's real. And we should create sustainable living, you know, today and for the future. An innovative utility. We're innovating in a way that's going to help us provide battery solutions for the future. Using a groundbreaking energy design to provide a virtual power plant. When you're working on a disruptive technology like a virtual power plant community, it's fun and exciting and it keeps you moving very quickly. Powered by a revolutionary battery technology. Zole Lofts is a special community that is actually going to help all of society and a community that will become the blueprint for the future. A repeatable master plan community that combines an all-electric, efficient design, EV charging, and solar power with the safest, longest-lasting battery technology on the market to provide a true, safe, and reliable way to power the community and the future, all managed by the local utility. As an individual, I want to be very aware of the impact that I'm putting on the environment. And it's really important for me to be part of a community. And those two things really play hand in hand, being part of a community that believes in the same thing. And the first thing that drew me in was like the design of everything. Soleil seems to have a really great vision. You know while you're living that you're actually really benefiting the planet as well. Welcome to Soleil Lofts, a blueprint for a cleaner, healthier, and more reliable energy future for us all. To that again quick little couple minute overview of the apartment community and you know its involvement and direct control with with rocky mountain power there again obviously we've got a virtual power plant now 
decarbonize, digitalize, and decentralize away from the, those power plants, away from this, this the, the need for this peak, peak, you know, nasty coal burning power plant to be fired up, especially to cover that, that quick, you know, three to four, a three to four hour period. That's, that's so important right now. Uh, okay, cool. Let's shift gears. Let's talk about the Sonin difference. So we can go through some of Sonin's unique value propositions. So if you're out in the market and, you know, you're talking to your homeowners and, you know, the questions arise, you know, what makes Sonin different and why, you know, why is the upfront sticker price higher than these other options? You know, what, what really makes, you know, Sonin what it is. And uh, that's what we're going to get into right now. So first and foremost, uh, you know, I want to just kind of talk about the units themselves. So as y'all, I'm sure by this point, no, we've got our Sonin Eco model, and then we've got our Eco Links models. Um, so the Eco right now is our kind of standard product. Um, it's got a 10-year, 10 10,000 cycle warranty. Um, so we'll we'll kind of get into some cycle counts here soon too. Uh, but just keep that in mind: 10,000 cycles is what the warranty of this product is. I um, mean, if you're daily cycling, obviously 365 cycles. A year, just simply take that, you know, 10,000 and divide it by your 365, and you'll see that it's rated to last, you know, 27 and some change years. Um, that 160 megawatt hour throughput, so our Sonar Eco 20, which is the highest you can go right now. If you think about megawatt hour throughput, too, it's a, it's a term that's commonly unused in the masses when you're talking about energy storage solution. Uh, but it's a term that we very actively bring up with our partners and as we're doing trainings and, you know, even if we're at the dinner table with one of our contractors talking to a homeowner face to face, megawatt hour throughput is an important aspect that not a lot of, um, you know, storage solutions will even bring up or uh, talk about. And it's what's guaranteed that's going to come out of the battery. You know, essentially what you're paying for now it's like, what am I actually going to get out of this? You know, is it, am I, am I getting energy storage solution just so I could treat it as a generator and just have it sit in my, inside of my wall and not really do anything for me every day? Maybe use it a couple times a year if my power goes out, you know, power up my bathroom lights or my internet or my garage door only. Um, or can I really use my energy storage solution at its max potential? And what, what can it really do? So this megawatt hour throughput, is what am I actually getting for what I'm paying? So keep that in mind as we, you know, progress through this. We're gonna do some simple math as far as, you know, here's what I'm gonna pay for this unit. What am I gonna get out of it? So I'll just kind of divide those numbers within each other so we can break it down to like a price per kilowatt hour. Um, and then again, 10,000 cycles is, is, is exponentially greater than than any other you know competitor that's out there, and then we'll talk about the our Eco Links model as well that that actually has more. So the Eco model, you can get it either you know this top main cabinet you'll see on the slide deck here. There's that little line. The designation on the bottom is an extension cabinet. So you can actually go up to an Eco 12.5. I'll update this slide here. Um, in the main cabinet, um, you've got your batteries in there. You go um, you know, up to 20, like I mentioned, by adding that extension cabinet on the bottom. Then you obviously split the you know, 2.5 kilowatt hour batteries within the top, the top and the bottom cabinets. Um, really cool thing on, on, our, on all of our units is our all-in-one topology. So our Ecolinks as well as our Ecos, um, everything is built in and it's all assembled in Atlanta prior to it getting boxed and shipped. So within the units, and this is nothing you'll have to do on site um, as far as the construction piece of it goes, but you've got our in, you know, proprietary battery management software. You've got your eight kilowatt Outback Radiant Inverter. You've got a 200 amp rated automatic transfer switch. You've got all your lithium iron phosphate batteries, which, you know, ding, ding, that's one of the unique value propositions of Sonin. We do not use nickel manganese cobalt, which, you know, kind of the masses at this point do. Um, lithium iron phosphate, as you guys should know, is the, the safest. Um, and then paired with our, you know, proprietary battery management software, the longest lasting, um, you know, battery, home battery that's, that's, that's out there available right now. Um, kilowatts versus kilowatt hours, obviously the kilowatts is like the inverter, the juice, how much power can, 
can this unit provide at once? It's 33 amps of continuous um, output. It's, I think it goes up to even 70 amps or so of, of uh, surge. Um, in kilowatt hours, you can again build it from a five with just that, you know, as the smallest piece, all the way up to an, a, all the way up to a 20 kilowatt hour system right now. So moving along here, we've got our EcoLinks product line. This is our secondary, this is kind of like our premium product. If you notice there, we've, this one has a 15 year, 15,000 cycle warranty. So do that same math we did earlier, cycling this daily, 15,000 cycles divided by 365, you're over 41 years of daily cycling capability. Um, and again, that EcoLink 20, it's got a 248 megawatt hour calculation on it. Um, so again, keep that in mind too, as we do some math, what the purchase price to you as the contractor is, what the purchase price to the homeowner is, dividing that into what you're really getting out of this unit, 248 megawatt hours, will, will you know, bring it to an extremely low, actually the lowest price for kilowatt hour rate calculation that there is. Um, this, this unit does have a 100 millisecond, uh, sub 100 millisecond automatic transfer switch, the prior eco units rated at about 30, we're seeing at a, somewhere right around like a 15 second um, transfer time. So this currently, you can build it from 12 to 20. Uh, we just officially are launching, uh, kind of getting a sneak peek here, or equaling 30. Um, so that's, that's going to have the kilowatt hour capacity go all the way up to 30 kilowatt hours um, versus 20, which is the max currently. So again, just a quick little recap. You got your integrated inverter built in. You've got your lithium iron phosphate batteries built into both of these. Sonin's unique proprietary intelligent um, battery management software. And then obviously system monitoring is included. Um, whether you download the app, whether you log in online, you know, contractors will have a fleet view. Homeowners obviously will have their own homeowner view. All right, so we talked about safety, some of the unique value propositions. Um, you know, I kind of brought that up, lithium iron phosphate. Not only is lithium iron phosphate the safest, but it's also the longest lasting module that's in the industry right now. Um, and when we're talking about cycle counts, cycles, in our opinion, are very, very, very important. Uh, because again, you don't want to spend money, even if it's 10000 or $40,000 on something that's just going to sit at your house and do nothing. And um, being able to daily cycle your battery, especially depending on where you're selling, if you've got, you know, investor-owned utilities that have high time of use rates, you know, one of the use cases or modes you're going to operate your system in is a time of use optimization mode, you're going to want to daily cycle that battery. You know, you're going to come across times where your solar system is not producing all the energy that your home is consuming. So instead of buying more energy from the electricity grid at that point, you just discharge your batteries and you do that daily. Every single day, you'll discharge your charge at nighttime, self-consumption mode. You know, you discharge your batteries as soon as solar is not producing all the way through the next morning. And once the sun starts shining and you're just not, as, not, not legally off the grid, but you're, you're, you're pretty much operating as, as if you are off the grid in a self-consumption mode. Uh, Sonin counts its cycles as a full discharge and a full charge. So if you're going down to like a 50% charge and then say to charge back up to 100, that's half a cycle. Doing that again the next day, discharging the half, you know, 50%, that's another half a cycle. So that, that, that'll that equate one cycle, one full cycle. Um, or you discharge all the way down to zero and then you charge all the way back up to 100%. That's also a cycle. So if you notice that bottom left there, that, that's, the nickel manganese cobalt cell you know there are leading competitors out there with brand names that that use the nickel manganese cobalt cell very you know cheap um upfront sticker price doesn't really do much um it does not have the the you know inverter power that that this that our units do um and most importantly yes you can you can operate them on a on a daily cycling kind of time of use management mode, but it's not gonna last a long time. And that's that's just cell chemistry, cell chemistry 101. You know, that nickel manganese cobalt cell is a perfect battery cell for the electric vehicle application. It's light, it's dense, it discharges, it packs a big punch if you, 
you know, floor it at a red light or at the quarter mile racetrack. Your zero to 60 time is extremely fast. Um, and it's, again, you know, like I mentioned, it's, it, it's a light cell. So, you know, obviously if it's in vehicles, you want it to be as light as possible and do the things that it does very well for a vehicle application. When it comes to your home battery, you know, lithium iron phosphate or stone and eco links 20s or 30s, they're almost a thousand pounds. And they're not designed to be in a vehicle that heavy, um, you know, for it to, for it to not have a, a extremely fast zero to 60 time, but it is designed to last a very long time. It's designed to be cycled every single day. It's designed to be very safe. There's no like, thermal runway, fire risk, things like that. Just, just don't, don't, don't live within that lithium iron phosphate um, cell chemistry. So cobalt free, again, quick little picture of, of, you know, what we, what our, what a lab in Germany tested as, as a nail test. And the nail test was essentially there to really simulate like a short circuit. Um, gosh, I guess you could even say a nail. I mean, if it's on your wall and you're drilling on the other side of the wall, hanging something cool up and accidentally puncture this cell, if someone drives into it, um, you know, things like that, or just its end of life cycle as, battery may short circuit or whatnot. The the, the cell chemistry, the, the, the cobalt within some of the competitors' battery cells, you know, they do have high thermal runway. Obviously then mixed with oxygen, it's nearly impossible to put the fire out. You've heard stories about the Samsung galaxies and the airplanes or the cars catching on fire and things like that. Those are all the nickel manganese cobalt cell. Not necessarily a cell I would put I would, um, you know, put in my house, living with my two young children and my wife and family. So keep that in mind. You know, there are a lot of homeowners that, that recept extremely well to this just simple concept alone, um, you know, let alone the, just the mining malpractices when it comes to cobalt and things like that. So moving right along, this is just a quick little, um, I think maybe 50 second or so illustration of this is our uh, lithium iron phosphate cell first. So you'll see there the nail goes directly through it and what happens when it does. You'll see some mild bubbling, a little bit of a temperature rise, um, you know, but nowhere near you know, what, the, what the nickel manganese cobalt cell is going to do that you're going to see here in just a second. apologize the sound on this one doesn't appear to be coming through here's your nickel manganese cobalt cell same exact test as you see the sparks you see the flames extreme temperature gain thermal runway up to about almost seven times as high as the nickel as the lithium iron phosphate cell So again, not necessarily the cell of choice for us, cell chemistry of choice. Um, again, when it comes to the safety and longevity of it, this is, uh, you know, Ben Sonin's cell chemistry from the beginning, and it will be, it will be to the end, um, just because it's the right cell for a residential application. A few little pictures of some installs that we've done, um, you know, just to kind of recap the Sonin Eco uh, product qualities, 90% depth of discharge on the battery cells themselves. Rated at a 30 second automatic transfer switch, it's probably around a 15 or so. We are AC coupled. Any kind of existing or new, you know, solar construction that you have, no matter what type of inverters are already on the, are already on the property, what kind of panels, you know, really nothing like that matters since we are AC coupled. Um, you know, we talked about the, the, like the sizing piece of it earlier that line in the middle between the 12.5 and the 15 just kind of designates when the extension cabinet is required. It's pretty much the same thing on the Ecolinks product line. Um, you got your 15 year, 15,000 cycle warranty and the sub 100 milliseconds, um, you know, automatic transfer switch. And then 
the you know 100 depth of discharge on uh, the battery cells this product line already includes the extension cabinet on the bottom of it it starts at a 12 goes all the way up to 20 and you know like i kind of sneak peek <laughs> showed you there we are actually just officially about to launch our ecolinks 30. Um, so again grid tied ac coupled solution um, regardless of what type of panel manufacturer, inverter setup, string, central, micro, optimizer solution that you have in there, because we are an AC coupled, you know, grid tied solution, we can we can pair with any type of solar diagram that is already existing or newly being planned. Um, the one that last piece on the EcoLink product line is its integration with our energy automation platforms you know those are just some of the kind of um you know major ones total control systems like you got your savant control for crestron you know lutron um we've got our partnership with a, with pantech designs adapt panel um and it just really takes takes energy automation to the next level um you know now you're now you're looking at things like you know when you've got automatic shades that are facing east you know your 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 east windows in the morning times those shades are low and in the evening times the west ones come down and the east ones go up and you know based on your time of use rate plan it'll it'll you know it'll it'll identify when it should pre-cool the home you know when it is paired with this with this energy automation piece of it you know storm could be two days away so now you're going to go from a daily cycling mode to a backup mode and keeping your keeping your battery at 100% state of charge in case power goes out and just really forward thinking type of an approach into in, 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 you know, to the market um, or into your home. Home management, like I just mentioned, the smart weather forecasting, um, configurable backup, you, you can have everything just kind of happen automatically. And the coolest thing right there on the bottom right there, the actual load management control. Um, I think I've got a slide in here. There we go. So this is our adapt panel. This is an app that you can download on your phone. And um, I should have screenshotted the breakers one too, but you can have different power profiles on. Obviously just your essential loads could be, you know, it's gonna allow, make your battery last the longest. But if you tap on that breaker um, tab there, whether you're on your computer or whether you're on your app, it'll allow you to literally just with a, with a touch of a button, you know, turn your breakers on and off as well. And you can control that. You know from anywhere and you can have different profiles for all that to do it automatically uh so fast forwarding real quick here our sunny communities and our virtual power plans Let's see it's 10 40 so we've got about 20 minutes to go um and i want to leave it open for some q a at the end as well so just getting through the last few things here um as you're in the marketplace and as you you know obviously already had existing partnerships or building existing partnerships keep in mind this opportunity you know the, the solar loss video that i showed you the that community being built it was all kind of you know rooted from just a few simple conversations between a contractor between their distributor rep Sonnen was involved you know fast forward years later you saw that beautifully master planned all electric uh, community so these are communities that we can build all over the country you know california is a strong market for these Sonnen communities and virtual power plants right now um texas maryland like these a lot of a lot of you know sp sp special states that have got good state incentives that um obviously the federal incentives are still in place um but but there are massive massive opportunities to you know kind of be on the forefront of making one of these communities be one of your communities um so we talked about these solar lots that's just one of them but you know kind of some of our our flagship virtual power plants in Sonin communities over the years, um, you know, our Mandalay Homes, Arizona, Pearl, DeBell, Evolutionary, these are all still still up and running and, you know, more, more units are being added to the fleet as we go along. So to recap here, the Sonin difference, we've got our product superiority, our energy automation, um, our VPP development, support side I haven't talked about yet, and I'll, I'll show here on the on one of these next slides is what our field teams really do out there and how do they support and how do they biz dev with you um and and not only that but what kind of resources do we have available in atlanta with our applications engineering team with our design consultation design feedback single line diagram reviews 
Um, but to start there, our channel sales specialist, really the, the backbone, I believe, of our, of our USA company here is our partnership and our support model. So every region has its own dedicated channel specialist with regional leadership and Sologent partnership with Sologent's uh, regional account managers. And really the main duty of the channel specialist is to support you is to strategize and business develop you know what are we going to go do what kind of events are in the events are happening you know what what customer can i go sit side by side with you on and present to and talk about some of unique value propositions um where can we go do sales trainings you know who can we invite what kind of events can we go do so really the that that model is is unmatched nobody else has that model and a lot of partners that even I have full and, you know, clear feedback from is like, hey, Mo, you know, the reason that we choose to in beyond all the cool stuff that the, you know, technical specification sheets show, but it's really your people. It's, you know, us being able to call the service line and someone picks up and they're all knowledgeable and they answer my question right away. Or I can call my channel specialist and as long as they get like a day notice, they can they can meet me tomorrow at, you know, John Smith's house and we can go do a proposal together. And so just really the coming together and penetrating the market and doing training and things like that. That's, I think, one of the coolest things. You know, we obviously have our co-op fund preferred partner program, um, you know, that you kind of levelize through. The more, you know, the, the better partner you are, the more kind of cool things get unlocked, the more market development funds get unlocked. Um, you know, and you kind of work your way up through that progression. And then we've got our online certification trainings and person certification trainings. Applications engineering is, is amazing. Um, total hands-on. They will review your load profile calculators that you've put together, review the nameplate ratings of appliances that you've cataloged, look at your single line diagram, make suggestions. They're, they're, they're really designed to make the project be bulletproof in the beginning, um, you know, making sure everything looks correct, you've got the right size unit, your solar looks good, um, you know, what you're looking to put into the protected loads panel looks, looks, looks ample for the unit you're installing. And the more hands-on they can be ahead of time, the more, you know, of a, of a perfect customer experience you're going to have with your client. Um, so that's it, really. These are our sun and resources. We'll make sure y'all get all this. We've got our online certification training and partner portals. Um, actually, the partner portal is something that I had pulled up here to go over with you really quickly. So we'll make sure you get this, you get this link. But if you click on our partner portal, I have it saved on my phone as well as a little icon. So total mobile friendly. We've got your design form and your sizing tool, your off-grid white papers. Um, you've got your installation videos and manuals for the homeowner, for yourself, all of our product single line diagrams, you know, like generator compatibility. That's one thing I actually didn't talk about is our generator compatibility. Um, so really being one of the only, actually right now, the only um, solution that can, that can pair with the generator. Um, the very quick kind of rundown on the generator basics is that the generator has to be a 12 kilowatt max generator. If you are above that, no problem. Um, just just right in between the generator and the Sonin, you've got a, a 50 amp two pole breaker. Um, 240 volt, two wire auto start. Um, that way we can start and stop it as needed. Um, and you'll 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 see some generator uh, documentation in this in this partner portal as well, and then the reference guide. You know, it has all of our Eco and Eco Links, even the new Eco Links 30 spec sheets in here, your manuals, um, all of our application notes. This is one that we talk about quite often uh, with with some of our partners. If you've got a solar array larger than AKW, kind of how you manage that. Um, commissioning assistance. So all this stuff is is accessible to you. There's no like password or login or anything like that needed. This is a simple link that you click on and you have access to all that. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about really, really, really quickly here is what I talked about on the math side of things when it comes to price per kilowatt hour. So I, don't, I didn't want to build a slide on this because I wanted to do it real time. 
Um, and what we talked about earlier on, for example, the Sonin Eco, let's call it Eco 20, because I got those numbers memorized. Um, on the Eco 20, that megawatt hour throughput illustration that I had put in there was 116 megawatt hours of throughput coming out of that battery. So now if you look at it and say, okay, well, how much is that Eco, you know, 20 going to cost my homeowner and call it, I don't know, I'll throw a number up, 30 4,000, something like that. At initial glance, you're like, you know, customers are probably going to look at that and say, that's really expensive up front, especially when I'm comparing it to other products that I've been looking at. But as soon as you do this math and you say, okay, but what are you going to get from that $34,000? And now you divide that into your 116,000 kilowatt hours, you're getting a price of right around 29 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, and I extremely overshot that price of the of the eco unit it's you know it's more than likely going to be in like that high 20 to low 30 number um the cooler part happens even at the most expensive if you go like forty eight thousand, it's like an eco links 20 and again more than likely it's going to be a lot lower than that but i just wanted to put this up here just for just for um you know this calculation purpose divide this by your 248,000 kilowatt hours of throughput your sub 20 cents on your price per kilowatt hour. If you do the same math, so keep 19 cents in mind real quick. Do the same math on, I'll call it leading competitor number one, call it 12,500. The megawatt hour throughput for leading competitor number one is 30 megawatt hours. So again, 30,000 kilowatt hours. You're at 41 cents per kilowatt hour. Do the same thing for, some may call it historic competitor, but another competitor, number two, 10,500, dividing that by 22,600 as a megawatt hour throughput, you're at 46 cents per kilowatt hour. So to recap this, this isn't for everybody right now. Our product is not designed for it to be a mass market product, for it to be the only solution you're currently offering to your entire client base. It's really designed to be led with is as a premium product, safest, longest lasting. You know, you're not always going to have that, that homeowner that either A, understands this lifetime cost of ownership or B, um, can afford it or really wants to. You know, you may, hey, I'm only going to be here for a year and then I'm upgrading and I'm moving and all this stuff. Okay, that's fine. As of right now, you're not the client for selling but as long as you're adding this to your portfolio, you're able to intelligently speak on it and talk about some of unique value propositions and incorporate our you know channel sales specialists to help you on your first three five ten you know sales and joint homeowner sales calls um you know then the kind of better it's going to get and the easier it's going to get you know with all the with all the resources and the support that we offer so with that um let's see we're at 11 minutes away so i'll uh, kind of pass it back either to madeline or jamie if you want to either read me some questions on the chat or I don't know if there's a way to just open it up and we can have a verbal verbal conversation with anybody. Uh, but that concludes the presentation portion of this.